lectins. Now, lectins compared to oxalates and the phthalates are an issue. And you don't have to panic about it, but because we already do lots of things about the lectins. Now, remember, there's a lot of hype about all this stuff because there are people selling things that aren't really effective, uh, but they make a lot of money. So my issue is lectins are a problem. What it, what it is, is lectins are a group of proteins and they bind with some of the carbohydrates, particularly around your gut lining, your intestines. And as a result, they can cause damage there, cause bacterial overgrowth, nutritional um, deficiencies, and have been associated with celiac disease, as in causing it, but exacerbating the conditions. Now, the thing about lectins is that they're highly resistant to breaking down. Now, what happens with the oxalates and the phthalates is that the more you have of these foods, e.g. the more spinach or silver beet you have with the oxalates in it, the more microorganisms in your microbiome, microbiota, develop the ability to break them down and convert them. So hence, your microbiota adapts to them. Now, it doesn't do the same with lectins because it finds it very hard to digest in any way and ferment in any way from your microbiota. So we have to rely on cooking, and that's what we've traditionally done. And you, if you soak something, it's not going to make an absolute zit of difference with the, the lectins. Now, these are in the beans, right? So what do you normally do with beans? Well, you pressure cook them. You cook them at 100 degrees C for 10, 20, 30 minutes, and that's the only thing that will break them down. Cooking them at 85, you probably have to do it for about 45 minutes or an hour. Cooking them at 65 degrees C, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And what's interesting is that while that does that, the lectins we find in beans, it breaks them down, it doesn't break the other lectins down that you, you get in your grains and other sources. Now, the great thing here is we already do it. And you're probably saying, well, what about the beans that I get out of the cans, you know, and things like that? So without trying to hold the label, there's a can of beans there. And um, nearly all of the studies I've read on it, and this is all based on the studies, not trying to hype up and sell anything, they've suggested that the beans have already been pressurized and heated enough to break down the lectins as good as you would in a pressure cooker. So the answer is they've been done, they're viable, and they're a great food. Now, let me finish it off by saying one last thing, is beans, nuts, and all these other foods make up an important part of our nutritional program and also a nutritional part of all those populations who live longer. So think about it.